Minnesota and Utah did a nice job, both ends of the floor. Both coaches, they played hard. And, um, I'm proud of my guys, they made a, they made a great effort as well. Um, they just uh, didn't play quite as well as our opponent. Zane, that's, that's kind of been uh, something that you guys go through on a regular basis. You have a really good first half and not a great second half. What what happens uh, in those moments? Um, I think they just we didn't get enough stops. And then and on top of it, I think they scored like 25 points in eight minutes, and that was tough. And they beat us uh, beat us up on the glass pretty well. So I think we just you know we didn't have the same energy that we did in the first half, and I think that uh, that's what bit us in the butt. I, think. But I thought our effort throughout the whole game was. Very well. Alonzo, what was going well early for you guys? Um, you know, I think just following coach's game plan. Uh, early, early in the game, you know, uh, we're looking to go inside and make plays for everybody. And you know, being, with, being together as a team is really was uh, helping us out um, going forward in the game. You know, when they, especially that zone, how bad that changed You know, they did that to us at third place and it hurt us a little bit. I, I, I don't think that was the difference. I think our inability to stop them. And one of the things that we want to do is try to take away the three. I think they're probably going to be a three point shooting team. They're 11 for 15 from three. I don't think you make 11 shots out of 15 if no one was guarding. We were trying to guard. Do you think, do you, think, do you, think do you guys were focused on taking them away the three point line? Helps them get it going inside during that first five minutes of the second half? Um, maybe a little bit, but all day. 11 for 15 from three. That's, that's hard to it's hard to overcome. You know, we cut the doggone game to uh, four and six and eight and back to four. And first half we were we were up three and turned it over. And, uh, you know uh, we didn't score enough points. We couldn't get stops. I, I think the biggest thing is the, the three point line. I think it kills. That's what Things that should determine whether you're minimum, minimum is your effort. And, and we need to control our emotions better. And, and we're working with uh, Kelvin on that. We lost him a little bit. He's not the only one that's ever lost a tenth of the game, that's for sure. Coach, you had some big wins this year. Boise State, Weber State, Idaho. But then there's also been some losses that just kind of you hang your head on. Can you just give me a reflection on this season um, and then how it kind of ended? Uh, well, there's only going to be only one team in this tournament that's going to feel good about what they did in the tournament. And that's the one of the tournament. It doesn't matter if you lose it early or lose late, you're still going to feel bad. You should feel bad when you anything to you. We've had some good wins and, and we've had some, some, some tough losses as well. I want to the big skies a way better league than people give. Uh, it's given credit for. I think uh, there's some really good coaches in this league. You know, did we uh, reach our potential? Did we, are we happy with where we're at? No, absolutely not. Sammy, can I get a comment on the senior year for you and, you know, kind of going out on this bitter, bitter note, I mean, just reflect for you and kind of what the Bengal program meant to you transferring in and being here for your junior and senior year. Um, this this guy right here changed my life. I mean, just by giving me an opportunity, taking a chance on a little guy. And what I told Coach on senior night, I was like, it's, it's deeper than basketball. So going out there, fighting for him today and for my teammates was all I was trying to do. Wasn't worried about how many points I scored or if I was going to turn the ball over 10 times. I, I was playing for my guys. I was playing for my coach. And I was playing for the Bengal Nation. I mean, uh, Pocatello changed my life a lot. And um, I feel like God has a plan for me. And um, you know, he put him in my life, put Idaho State in my life. And you know, I'm proud to be a Bengal, for sure. Bill, you guys kind of struggled on defense all season. Why do you think uh, Heather got going on that side of the ball? 
I'm coaching the defense. That's the problem. <clears throat> Next question. But Coach, you were able to sweep the season series between Idaho and, and Boise State this year, win all three of those games. Yet, in, in the bigger picture, all three of these college programs are struggling this year. What makes it difficult to produce consistent results at this level in the state of Idaho? You know, um, I love Idaho. My family loves Idaho. I couldn't get my wife out of Idaho. But when you call a, a kid from Canada or somewhere like that that thinks Idaho is in another nation, it, it's, it, it's a little bit of a tough sell. And once they get here, though, they find that it's, the people are great, our community's great, you know, our uh, school, we have a really good school, we have, we have a lot of things to offer. But, but the young guys, that, that's not, that's not the, that's not the little, um, facilities, uh, big city. Uh, we don't have those things. And so it's a little bit more difficult to recruit them. And once you get them here, their, their mind changes. Because we have great people on the We have a great school. And I think we run our basketball program in the right way. But until you can get them here, it's, it's a harder sell. Not everybody wants to come to Idaho. They think Idaho's one big split field. No, it's not. Once you get them here, and speaking maybe specifically about your program, how do you get the players in your program and then get your program out of the pockets? They've been very, you want more results, you want better sure. results. How do you get them? You know, I told um, Jeff Tini, who hired me about seven years ago, he said, Coach, we've got to get this academic thing straightened out. Our academics are going to fall. I said, Jeff, don't worry about that. And we graduated 18 straight guys, 18 for 18. I said, my deal is, am I going to be able to win with the kind of guys that I want in my program? Because I don't take anybody. His hair looks terrible. I'm trying to get a cut. His hair looks terrible. I'm trying to get a cut. But, but I want good guys. I want to be able to coach guys. I want to be able to go to bed at night and know that these guys aren't going to be doing things they're not supposed to do. I want guys who want to graduate. I want guys who want to be good citizens, be good examples to, my, to, to the community, to my little guy. And, and so I've done that. Have I won as many games as I want to win? No. But I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of my program. How do you start winning? So maybe that applies to Idaho and Boise State as well. Um, gee, I, 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 I guess if I knew that, I, I would do it. I'm not being disrespectful to you or rude to you. You know, again, it's, 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 it's a little bit of a hard sell. I believe that, that I could probably um, recruit differently and maybe be more successful, but uh, Maybe I wouldn't be as happy doing. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I'm not happy with the roster. I'm not happy with we won 11 games this year. I'm happy with that. But I'm happy with the guys who went to the world with every day and practice every day. I am. And uh, yeah, I, I want to win more games. And, and uh, maybe you and I can get together and you can tell me what you think I need to do. One more question. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, okay, thanks. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>